This is the story of my friend, Paul. Paul and his wife are real estate agents. Living life in a constant sprint. Living, working, and thriving in a world of agency disclosures, purchase offers, and caffeine. The story that I'm about to tell you is true. But not really. Because the three of us are cartoon characters. Designed by the author of this course. To make a point. Take a listen to what happens here in the zone. I should be getting an offer first thing this morning. Hopefully it'll fly, huh? That depends on whether it's a real offer. Let's hope, huh? I'll be there around 9. Okay. I might know something by then. Paul went off to work today Unaware of what might come his way Through emails, calls and letters and texts He wondered if he'd make a deal so it's not communication you exactly what he said. constantly okay. Bye. negotiation seeming endlessly how can he tell when the offer is made to step in and seal the deal come on how long do i have to wait 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 How long does Paul have to wait? Or should I say, what made him believe that he would get an offer today? You see, Paul fell victim to a very common real estate tactic called the would you take? Yes, that's right. A would you take? An offer communicated to him over the phone by the buyer's agent. It is not in writing. Nor is it a legitimate offer. So here Paul waits. You see, the buyers changed their mind. And no longer wish to make the offer. Yet, Paul made the costly mistake. Of relying on. The would you take. Rather than waiting, Paul jumped the gun. And told the sellers about an impending offer. Now, he must answer to the sellers. Good afternoon. This is Paul. Don't make Paul's mistake. Don't tell the sellers about an offer you received over the phone. Unless you're very clear that the offer is only verbal. Or you just might find yourself here. Telling the sellers about an offer that never was. An offer that existed only in Paul's mind. An offer that exists. Only. In the zone. 